Hi everyone, this is Ben from Oracle. Thanks for joining the Oracle Analytics Summit. Today we are going to watch one of our best Oracle Analytics leaders. This is Jim Shilton from Graystar. He's going to show how we implemented Oracle Analytics for application on top of Fusion ERP. So thanks for joining and thanks for watching. Hello everyone, and thank you to Oracle for allowing me to present at this year's Analytics Summit. And I hope everyone listening remotely or watching remotely is safe during these unprecedented times. My name is Jim Chillum. I'm the Managing Director of Corporate Accounting um, and Tax for Graystar globally. I've been with the company now 15 years. If you have questions, you may ask them in the queue. So, so at the end, I am able to answer them live. So who is Graystar? Graystar is the leading fully integrated real estate company offering expertise in investment management, development and construction, and also management of rental housing globally. Graystar is the largest manager of apartment complexes globally. We manage today 660,000 units representing $210 billion in real estate. We have team members of approximately 19,000 worldwide, and we encompass in 200 global markets. Our investment management company oversees a real estate portfolio of approximately 37 billion, which is encompassing of 172,000 units in the portfolio. Our development and construction company is ranked number two as a developer in the US, as well as the ninth largest general contractor of multifamily units. Throughout our existence, we have sponsored 191 multifamily projects in the US comprising nearly 53,000 units with a market capitalization close to 17.2 billion. Currently, I have offices in the United States, the United Kingdom, Europe, Asia Pacific, Latin America. So today I'm here to talk about our modernization of our financial analytics. So what were Graystar's business challenges um, as we started this process, or we've seen over the last couple of years? Graystar needed to be more agile in our response to growth for monthly reporting. Um, during booms and downturns, um, Graystar has consistently, since the day I started, um, increased our portfolio size, purchased a company, many acquisitions across the board, whether it's portfolios or entities. Um, and we always needed a more agile approach to our reporting and being able to you know, size up or size down as we needed to. And before OAX, we have not been able to. So what were the technology challenges that Graystar faced? We had multiple systems. Therefore, with having multiple systems, we had multiple source of truth, which is not good. Um, and I know a lot of companies growing at the rate we were growing um, have seen this and they're trying to tackle the same issues. Um, our financial statements, both our income statement and balance sheet, we had two different systems. We were running um, and we had to pull information from one system to another system. There were no direct integrations, making information very difficult to come by. Then on our non-financial information, our employee accounts are in one system, um, and then our, asset, I mean, our assets under management and units under management were completely done offline in Excel databases, Excel spreadsheets. Um, so pulling information into a one system repository has been non-existent. Um, our executive reporting um, really lacked um, in visual presentation, as well as the length to produce our executive reports took way too long. Um, and we needed a reduction in time. And then the presentations we did um, across the company from you know, our different lines of business, we, you know, we just weren't aligned. Um, you know, so from the standpoint of one group would present it one way, another group would present it slightly different, same type of information, slightly different, making it a little bit chaotic um, in the way we were showing our financial information. So what were Graystar's requirements for change? We wanted to leverage the existing transactional data that we had in our ERP system. Um, we purchased Oracle originally for the reason for to really standardize and be consistent in how we look at our financial information. But we also wanted to minimize database maintenance. We wanted to seamlessly join our third party data to our Oracle ERP cloud. We wanted to reduce our analytical report prep time from weeks to days. And we wanted to standardize all of our visual graphical presentations across the board. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Graystar's architecture and give you a little bit of a history of where Graystar has come. So in 2018, August of 2018 to be exact, Graystar went live on Oracle Fusion Cloud. And we began the journey with, you know, cash management, AR, AP, inner company, GL, fixed assets, um, as well as we also implemented project portfolio management, better known as PPM. 
that's our baseline for where we are today. Um, we have, I now have implemented a portions of the ER, EPM model. So we first started the EPM bundle, um, we were using FCCS. So FCCS is our, cons is our consolidation um, and, and elimination product. We implemented that first quarter of 2020. Today, we are currently implementing EPBCS as well as PCMCS. So as long with our ERP, we also have implemented the EPM bundle. So within the EPM bundle, we have FCCS, which handles our consolidation and eliminations for our external reporting. We are currently in the process of implementing EPBCS for budgeting, forecasting, and workforce, as well as PCMCS for our cost allocation modules. From a reporting perspective, we use F FRS, we use SmartView, we use BI Publisher, we use OTBI, and we use Splash BI. Um, newest on this list for us would be OAX. When we were at Oracle Open World last year, um, we sat in a demo, first day demo, with Ash and the development team of OAX. Um, we fell in love with the opportunities and the capabilities that they presented in front of us. And the, it seemed endless to us, but it also seemed on the back end um, minimal in database um, for us. And from our perspective, our team today is an accounting team as leading the OAX charge um, and not from an IT perspective. So the way we looked at it, it was going to be as minimum for our IT group to integrate another system because we, this is already connected within our ecosystem of Oracle. So talking about OAX, I wanted to show a little bit of a quick dashboard of the way Greystar looks at his business. Um, in front of you, you have the consolidated dashboard for Greystar. We not only do we have, we have a consolidated dashboard, we have the ability to look at domestically in the United States, what are we doing, but we can then slice and dice into property management, our development company, our investment company, and our enterprise service, as well as our headquarters, our holding company. And what we're able to do is consistently have the same metrics, the same look, the same feel, um, as if it's one cohesive group and not different people reporting the information. So the, the executives are getting one look in the same and consistent manner. We also have it for our international groups, you know, breaking down into our various um, countries as well. And these are all pre-existing KPI cards that you can still customize a little bit, um, but they're pre-built out of the package as long as your hierarchies, as I talked about before, were set up properly um, and really, you know, really are the baseline for why I feel OAX has been sim very simplified for us to set up. But if you wanted to get a little more detailed, um, we also are able to use um, the project portion of OAX to, that connects to um, Oracle Analytics Cloud that's able for us to more customize um, our graphics and do more visual presentations where it breaks down further into our line of business. What we have here today is our EBITDA look um, for our property management company. And we're able to break down into the various divisions we look at um, on an actual to budget. And it gives, you know, it gives our heads of the diff our different companies, our different regions, different ways to look at it, but not at a high level, but now broken down at individual level. Um, we've done this with our development company, our investment company, and we're now, con now working further um, within our international lines of business. So with every project, um, in implementation. There are always lessons learned. No project ever goes perfect, but I will say the team that Ash has developed um, with the development group, they've been fantastic. They've taken our um, constructive criticisms, they made changes, they made, they've made this project fantastic. It was a great product to begin with. They keep adding to it and it's becoming even better. The issues faced initially, overwhelmed by the possibilities of the analytics to present. It seemed like it was endless things we could pick. Unfortunately, Graystar did not have its hierarchy set up in Fusion ERP um, the exact way we needed to, to organize our data in the categories that OEX needed. Um, we did not, also did not have financial categories assigned to natural accounts in Fusion. So we came up with a couple of solutions the way we looked at it. We really took a simplistic approach. We only picked a hand, small handful of items or analytics for us to look at. You know, we started for us with revenue, operating expenses, and EBITDA, you know, the, you know, for us, the underlying information that we really wanted to look at before we started tackling any other bigger projects when it came to balance sheet um, categories and, and KPIs and all of that. We moved our parent points in the hierarchies to line with how the categories um, were set up in OAX. 
with any new project, a um, couple best practices that we, we have come up with. So making sure hierarchies in ERP align um, with how you want to categorize your data in OAX, it makes it more simplistic and easier to manage. Um, we also, you know, use more cost centered dimensions. So we're able to build um, the hierarchy and ERP fusion exactly the way our business owners wanted the representations. It has made it much easier to work with our business line users to say, okay, if this is the way we feel we need to set it up. Is there anything else? And they may add, add or tweak something. So we've been able to really use some of these tools to really get some better representations. So as you saw earlier, um, our cost hierarchy, um, we obviously have the United States and international, but then we break it down into subsects within each one of those. Another best practice um, is the natural account financial categories. So OEX relies heavily on financial categories to be assigned in natural accounts in Oracle Fusion ERP. Um, financial categories are built in a formula to make pre-built fact that users can use in their analysis. And we're also able to create you know, their own facts as well. On the right hand side, it's just a snippet of those. So what are the technical benefits that Graystar um, have seen? I broke these into four categories. What's easier, faster, smarter, and what adds scale? Obviously from the easier perspective, it's minimal user manipulation. Once you create a card, it's there. The only time you need to add is when we add a new region or a new company. Um, it's faster, integrates directly with our ERP. Um, for us, it's an overnight, um, but we can also run it on demand smarter. We can also join outside third party information into the system as well as you know non-financial information for our attributes. From added scale, um, we're able to actually quickly um, implement and add new cards to a new region um, as, it, as it comes necessary. So what have been the business benefits for Graystar? I've mandated from day one in order to implement a system like this we needed to make sure we significantly reduced our overall preparation time and the length it took us from the time we've closed our financial statements to the time we get it to our executives, or did take 14 days. Today is now three days for us from the time we close our financial statements to the time our executives have their reports and are able to view them um, and see them. So that's about an 80% cut to time for creation, review, and fi finalizing of packages, where before that was all done in Excel, and it took a lot of manual manipulation. We are also able to quickly create customized data visualizations. There's untapped data analysis that we have not been able to previously provide to our owners. So we've overwhelmed them at times with new data options, but I think it's been fantastic because they're getting information they have not seen before. Um, and it allows for us to have standardization and specialized analytics across different lines of business. And obviously for us, this is easier to roll period over period. You're not having to go in and change formulas, re-import information that sometimes doesn't come in correctly. It's all there and it's repeatable on a monthly basis, quarterly and annual basis pretty quickly. So what, what is the road ahead for Graystar? Currently, our Graystar's executive committee are the only ones using or seeing reports out of OAX. Over time, and hopefully within the next, you know, less than six months, by year end, we are planning to have it rolled out to each one of our lines of business to use it on a regular basis. Today, we're only using pre-built KPIs for revenue, operating expenses, and EBITDA that we hope to plan to change that here shortly, or we'll get into more balance sheet analytics where it comes to AR, AP. I know that um, OAX has a roadmap for fixed assets, more of the cash management module, um, but we're also working with them today on project portfolio management. Hopefully we'll have KPIs here soon on that, as well as integrating all of our nine financial information into OAX. So we have that information in a visual perspective for our owners. Thank you again, everybody, for allowing me to share our journey to modernize our financial analytics with everybody. And I hope you've learned something today and realized that OAX is a fantastic product. I will now open it up for questions for live Q&A. Thank you. Wow, it was an amazing presentation. Uh, I'm looking forward to see more of our global Oracle Analytics leaders presenting. If you want to know more about this presentation, just ask your question in our Q&A. You can also complete the survey. And again, thanks for joining and thanks for watching.